Okay, so lockdown week one, swim tubing routine. So we will start with a little bit of a warm up. So find a spot, just do some shoulder rotations, shoulder swings, slight bend in the knee, keep a pretty flat back. Just go in. Hang a little bit. You have a seat. The internal and external rotations. Crunch, crunch. Then we'll just open our arms up, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. Okay, so you can do this on the floor or on a bench. We're gonna do bird dogs for 30 seconds. Okay, so squeeze the left glute, extend the right arm. I like to bend the knee and hold. One, two, and switch. Squeeze the right glute, hold. One, two, keeping the hips level. Getting that butt activated. Okay, next up, lying on that same bench, we'll activate our core, warm up a little bit with some flutter kick on back. Go five on, five off. And relax, bring your arms up above your head to make this harder. And back we go. And off, see that's not so bad. And back on. And off. And back on. Off and back on and off. Okay, do a little bit more shoulder stuff. Again, we're just warming up here. Big shoulder circles back and shoulder circles. Forward and while we're here, let's do some mirrored swimming. So, um, ideally, you want to find a way in front of a mirror. You want to put your hands in streamline, like you're pushing off the wall. Picture yourself kicking up to the surface. Take that first breath, hand to the side. Okay, when you go to take the other stroke. You're watching your hand, it's about at your head. Then you take the other stroke, rotate. So focus on the timing of the swim. Nice high elbow, elbow to the side. Going in slow motion so you can get the timing and proper technique. Entering the water in front of your shoulders. Fingertips forward. Nice high elbow. Hand getting up over the water. Nice steady head position. Fingertips down, not scooping up. Down, really focus on good technique swimming. Now picture yourself in the water. 
Take a breath if you need to. And we'll relax. Go back to our bird dogs. more seconds. Really feel this in the butt. Okay, now we're going to lie on our back for some flutter kick on back. This time we'll do 10 seconds. Get comfortable. And here we go. 10 seconds. Nice, small little kicks, flattening your back into the, into the floor or into the bench. And relax. Hands can go up by your side or up above your head if this is too easy. And again. And relax. And here we go. And relax and we'll do this one more time. Here we go. And relax. Okay, so round three, start with our shoulder mobilizations again. This time we'll do some backstroke. Opening up the chest, picture your, close your eyes if you want to, picture yourself doing backstroke. And now let's picture, let's do two lengths of freestyle, okay? So let's push off the wall, nice and streamlined. Kick, kick, kick to the surface. Two strokes, take a breath. Practice our bilateral breathing. Halfway down the pool. Getting close to the end. Okay, let's do our flip turn, or our touch turn. And let's go back to the other end. Let's build, let's pick up the stroke rate a little bit. Think about pushing more water. Don't forget to breathe. Halfway. Good technique. Things are coming natural. And finish strong, last five strokes hard to the wall. All right, getting warm. Back to our bird dogs, 30 seconds. Flutter kicks on back. This time we'll try to do it for 15 seconds in a row. All right, here we go. Nice small kicks, nice fast kicks on the bench or on the floor. And relax. Hands above your head if that was too easy. And here we go. Okay. 
All right, good stuff. So that concludes our warm up. Good, I am recording. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna secure your swim tubing overhead. So this, simple, I've taken a Lululemon bag and put a flutter kit, uh, a pull boy in it and secured it to the top of the door. And I can do the same for a second one if I want. I have it. Make sure that door is secure. Okay, so we're gonna start with our lat pull down. So the lats are a big muscle that attach from your shoulder all the way down into your back. And uh, they give you a lot of the strength you need for swimming. So we'll start just kind of in a crouch position or seated position. And you're gonna bring your shoulders back. Nice flat back. Do this for 30 seconds. about 30 seconds. Okay, then we're gonna grab our swim tubing, our reset, and we're gonna do some twists. Every strength program should have a rotation exercise, double arm, single arm, So that's what we're doing here. About 30 seconds per side. And we're gonna switch. Obliques are really important for swimming. Three, two, one. All right, so now we're gonna go into our swim tubing. So you can bend over, we'll do a first set bent over. Really important to have a nice high elbow catch. Okay, if you don't have the shoulder flexibility to do this, then this is fine. So pull down and then back. All right. I have the elbow up to the side, main thing. Here we go for 30 seconds. We'll just alternate sides in more of an overlapping motion. We'll be here for a minute. Feel free to take a break if you get a little bit tired. Again, while you're doing this, picture yourself in the pool. Make yourself picture yourself with good technique. Picture what the water feels like, what it smells like, what it looks like. Might need to close your eyes. We're doing long, nice, long, steady strokes. Okay, let's take a five second break and then we're gonna go faster. So the actual timing of the swim stroke. So here we go. I'm gonna be here for another five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's re-secure and go into our lat pull downs. And pull 30 seconds here. 
I'll try to give you a five second warning. Halfway. Ideally, you want to be more explosive, pulling down and slowly release. Three, two, one. Get set up for some rotations. Again, we're doing these for 30 seconds. You wanna make it harder, bring your feet close together. You wanna make it easier, wider apart. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch sides. Try to always keep your shoulders square to your belly button. So the belly button sort of stays in between those shoulders. So you're not sort of twisting over. You're bringing your whole torso as you rotate. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our swim tubing, which I'm gonna do using the bench. And here we go, same thing as standing. Nice high elbow. We're gonna be two minutes here, nice and steady. Again, picture yourself in through the water. If you have a bench, you can do some flutter kicks. You can do overlapping type swim strokes or you can do faster. Really picture yourself grabbing the water with your forearm. Mixing it up between overlapping and faster or regular timing, I should say. Lost track of time, so we're going to go for another minute. <laughs> Picture yourself making your way down the pool. Taking a break if you need to. Just making sure you're not doing this, okay? Take a look at yourself in the mirror, make sure you're not doing this. You wanna keep the elbow, the eye of the elbow, the pointy part out to the side. 10 more seconds. All right, and you can finish up. Okay, we're gonna go back to our lap pull downs for 30 seconds, starting now. And 
three, two, one. Go down for rotations. So last time we're going to do swimming, swim tubing for three minutes, okay? And then we're going to switch sets. Um, if you want, you can pause this video and do the set twice more um, with four and five minutes as your swim tubing. All right, here we go. Start in three, two, one. If you think about it as catch, pull, Recover. We don't recover when we're doing some tubing above our head. Um, just too hard on the shoulders with the band pulling our shoulder forward. Okay, that's 20 seconds. To break this up, let's go to our regular timing pull for 30. Three, two, one, and regular pulls, or sorry, overlapping pulls. And back to regular pulls. to overlapping pulls. So because we're going for endurance here, the swim tubing resistance shouldn't be too tight. It shouldn't be too much. You should feel it sort of in with, um, underneath your shoulders and your armpit, going all the way down to your back. Try not to lift your head like I'm doing. Okay, let's go back for the last 15 seconds to faster pulls. Right. So again, you can do that a couple more times. Um, if you want to make the set longer. Okay, 
So next up, um, we are gonna do some more upper body exercises. So we're gonna do um, 15 seconds of push-ups twice. Um, and then we are gonna go on to some rolling plank. And then we're gonna go back to a little bit of swim too. Okay, so there we go. We'll start in three seconds with push-ups. <laughs> And go, you can do these on your knees. Three, two, one, and take a little break. For three, two, one, and back again. Okay, we'll take a little pause there. If you haven't been doing push-ups or any upper body work, you might want to take this a little bit easier today. Again, never do anything with any pain. All right, now let's go into plank. Rolling plank. Keep your butt down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now you're going to grab the swim tubing. But we're going to do shorter now and harder. Okay. So make sure there's a fair bit of resistance this time on the swim tubing. Make sure it's secure. And we're going to go for 30 seconds, overlapping at first just to get the feel. Again, there should be more resistance this time because we're only doing 30 seconds. And faster now. Or it doesn't even have to be faster, just regular stroke timing. Three, two, one. And relax. Okay, shake it out. We'll do our push ups again. Here we go. And a short break. And again. And break. Oh, and rolling plank now. Set yourself up. Okay, and go back to grabbing your swim tubing. Make sure it's secure. We'll start with high resistance again, overlapping strokes. So one arm at a time. And back to regular timing. And stop. 
and the break. Get into our push up position. And here we go, last time. And break. Three, two, one, and back. And breaks. All right. And rolling plank. Shake of those arms. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, back to our swim tubing. Again, you can do this more, but I'm only gonna demonstrate it for another set. Keep this to 30 minutes. All right, here we go. Overlapping. And now regular timing. And relax. All right. I want to shake out those arms. Good stretch to do for the lats. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so that's lockdown video week one. I'll try to post a video each week for you guys. Um, try to do this twice. All right.